Hi, I'm Chris from Paddleboard Specialists, and I'm here with John Diller, and uh, we're going to be talking about his Edge 14 by 28 today. All right, can you tell us a little bit about how you got into uh, racing canoes and recreational canoes? Yeah, um, I started about 30 years ago. I was building uh, kayak paddles. Uh, I originally have a, a whitewater uh, background, whitewater kayaking. I started building wooden kayak paddles. Got into some marathon racing paddles, and then uh, had some guys talking to me to build some uh, marathon racing canoes. And then, how did you get into uh, into the SUP side of things? I, a friend of ours, uh, Jim Terrell, he uh, was telling me for years I should get into the SUP market. Um, and one time we decided, well, well, we'll give it a shot. So we took on our racing canoes, our 186 um, rowboat, and uh, we cut it down, put a deck on it, gave it a shot, and it's a real fast SUP. So that's our unlimited port. And then we found out that um, not a lot of people race unlimited. So we uh, played with some 14 footers, got a 14 foot pintail, and uh, now we also have a uh, square tail that's a 14 foot the edge. This is our, uh, our new edge, it's our square tail 14 foot. Um, we just came out with it uh, this past year. We've been uh, doing prototypes for three, four years now and came up with a good design. This is our 28 inch wide board. Uh, we build them out of molds, we do a clamshell, a deck, and a hull, and, and then put them together. Uh, we got 28 inch, we're going to make a 24 inch and also a 26 inch wide. Uh, so, uh, so far they're doing really well. And this is a, a, a hollow construction, correct? It's a hollow construction, yeah. We do a uh, hull, build it out of mold, build the deck out of a mold, and then we uh, put them together. It has a foam core, it's made out of carbon with uh, some Kevlar reinforcing in it. This okay. board here is about 24, 25 pounds. Okay, and then is there is there some sort of um, reinforcement in the standing area? Yeah, there's a foam core, the whole standing area is all foam core. And we have stringers going down the center and also on the side where you're standing to make the, the two uh, halves together uh, so that it's a good stiff board. At 14 by 28, with such a rolled bottom, I mean, it's got one inch at the center and it comes, comes to zero right at the rail. I mean, it's a pretty rolled bottom. One of the things that I thought was it was going to be really twitchy because, I mean, basically your effective, your effective um, water line, you know, that you're actually paddling on is more like 26, 25. Um, but it actually felt really stable. Um, you'll see that in the you'll see that in the footage when you actually see it. You'll you know I mean there's very minimal you know side to side rocking. And granted it's cold out there and I don't feel like going for a swim. Um, but apart from that, I thought it was really nice and stable. Um, very very nice lean entry in, into the water and it's just it's beautiful watching it just part. Um, in the tail uh, again and I, I think you'll see that in the video. You know it's got just enough tail rock. Right, I weigh 185 pounds. So one of the things that John told me is you know he doesn't. He doesn't really have the volume for this board, but comparing it to other boards and uh, other things that I've been on, um, I'd say it probably has around 270, 265 liters of volume, you know, somewhere in there. Um, and at my weight, at 185 pounds, you know, you can see there's a little bit of daylight shown in the tail, um, but a very, very nice paddling board. Um, you know, in, in terms of stability and, and the feel that you get on there, as soon as you get that board up to hull speed, you can really start to feel the stability sort of kicking in the water, kind of hugging the sides. and uh, and you get much more stable. Um, you know, if you're looking for a performance flat water paddling board, um, it's a great, great choice. I mean, especially when you consider, you know, you've got such a great lineage in, uh, in John Diller building these things. And, um, you know, and the, the great thing is, I mean, like you, said in, like you said earlier in the video, I mean, you can actually tweak it from, he's got 28, 24, uh, 26, and then down to like 24 or 25. Um, I'd be I'd be anxious to try all the all the different widths and maybe even try some of the different contours um, that he's talking about. Like I said, I mean you can go from you know he can give you whatever kind of bottom contour you want, um, you know all the way to zero, where, which is you know that that board's pr pretty flat around the, along the bottom. So you know at 26 inches wide and, and perfectly flat on the bottom, I think this thing would just totally scream. So again, this nice sleek entry into the water incredibly incredibly soft all the way throughout I mean this is you know all of this is super super round so you're not really looking for any stability out of here this is just pure pure speed and then here again you've got that you've got that rolled bottom but you're going all the way out to 28 inches and this is pretty hard it's a nice hard rail and that hard rail continues almost to the tail I mean right about right about in, right about here um, you actually start to get more of that, more of that softness, more of that roll again, just to help that water release. Um, you know, again, I think if you're if you're talking about flat water paddling, and you want something that is not going to 
uh, be hindered, you know, in any way by the by the design of the board. You know, you've paddled certain boards when you get out there, and and you can feel when that board starts pushing back on you. There's nothing. There's nothing on here that's going to make that board, um, you know, push back on you. I mean, this is all everything you get, it, everything you put into it, you're going to get out of it. Um, and I, you know, I, I do want to mention I did paddle it with a JB keel fin um, in there, and um, you know, which gave me you know quite a bit of stability as well, and certainly didn't didn't let up on any on any of the speed. But um, yeah, excellent board.